I don't know about the rest of you. But when I tell people I'm studying mathematics education, it's a conversation stopper. At best, and at worst, they launch into a diatribe of how horrible mathematics was. We live in a society where it seems perfectly okay to say, oh, I could never do maths. Yet we don't hear people making similar admissions about other core subject areas, such as reading. Why do people form such strongly negative reactions towards the subject of maths? Children typically enter school pretty enthusiastic about learning and maths. Yet as they progress through the system, they display declines in motivation, enjoyment, and achievement in the subject until the, ultimately some give up or fail. Now, this wouldn't be a problem in itself, except maths is a gatekeeping subject. Many post-secondary programs require mathematics qualifications. And unfortunately, it's people in the marginalized groups of society who are more likely to drop maths or fail. This indicates a need <coughs> to look beyond surface statistics on achievement and motivation and towards a deeper understanding of how people relate to maths and merge it with their sense of self. My thesis uses this concept of identity as a framework for understanding students' experiences in maths. I define identity using a metaphor of performance. We act out our various identities all the time, including the clothes we wear, the things we do and say, the stories we tell, and we enact mathematical identities in any mathematics context. I'm particularly interested in the context of primary or intermediate school and secondary school, and how these very different contexts may affect identity performances. So I'm following 22 students. I'm interviewing them four times as they make this transition, I'm observing them in classes and interviewing their parents and teachers also. This longitudinal qualitative study design fills a need in the New Zealand research. And already, interesting and illuminating stories are emerging. Stories that may help explain why children begin to identify negatively with maths and why this happens more within certain groups in our society. Educators need to understand these students' perspectives in order to help prevent so many from bowing out of mathematics. Thank you.